Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Back again, man. Finally, trying to get this uh, get this uh, train back on the track, man. Uh, sitting here in Ma's rocking chair. But uh, uh, no, I ain't forging, man. That's just for warmth. Hello, Miss Kitty. Hey. So, uh, actually, and today we're just gonna do a a review or a whatever. I wanted to get my hands on one of these for quite a while. I finally got one was sent to me. Um, it's a made in China crap, old timer. Kind of sold out, which bums me out. But this one, uh. I should get my, get my sun, or my sunglasses, get my reading glasses, dude, so I can see. But, um, you know, it's China, man. China's still tedious to be total, total, total crap. And, you know, they were buying all our steel when they're recycling and all that. You know, they were building, like, the world's largest bridge or something back when I was doing a ton of uh, recycling and stuff like that ten years ago. Anyway, their quality of steel, um, it ain't no American made stuff, I'll tell you that right now. Because that's I get all that stuff. Why are you showing that crap on there? And all that, hey. Um, I haven't seen a uh, American made Bowie old timer for a long time. I see them out at the gun shows and stuff, maybe. Anyway, we're gonna open this thing. So let me tell you. Let's let's talk about it, man. Look at that mother. <sighs> so this one is a seven C R steel blade, sheath included, ten inch blade. Generational guarantee. No, generational would be uh, made in America. Um, twenty twenty one, made in China. Oldtimersknife.com. But we're going to, uh, I can already tell, one thing I don't like about it is I like leather sheaths. Let's open this mother up and check it out. I don't even know if I've actually, I've seen these out. Oh, man, it was probably, I guess at Christmas time I've seen a few out. And then, uh, they've been out for a few years. And I don't think I've ever actually had my hands on one of them yet. But I'm about to. I hate these plastic things, dude. It's just a good way to cut the crap out of yourself. Let me get it. Hang tough. Hang with me. Dude, I hate these things, man. I don't know where they sell these things. First impression of it is uh handle feels kind of chintzy. Well, it's a full tang. Well, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I don't much care. It's definitely not got that the old school uh, feel to it. It's got the. Uh, Canvas. Oh, it's actually got a. Let's see, what's that about? Let's see how it fits in there. I don't like them. Oops, got the little fancy, fancy tip there. Hmm. Fits nice in there. Not a. Uh, Something in there, man. Oh, it's just that one of them down. Packets. Silica packets. So, man, the sheath actually fits the knife nice. Um, dude. Man, I mean, it's nice. Fits your hand, man. Fits my hand good and stuff, man. Look at it. But, uh, 115-8662. Twenty-one old timer. 
Old timers etched. Doesn't say the made in China thing. Man, the handle's tight and everything. Even the um, we were out looking at some handguns. When was that? Yesterday or day before yesterday? This can't. I guess I could bend this down maybe. Uh, let's see how it does on this. Oh yeah. Get back. Get back. Get back. Here I can see the blade bend. Uh, straight okay. Hi, stop, dude. Grand got the grandson coming. They might be here. Um oh sorry, dude. Yeah, I don't know what other uh That's a hell, of a hell of a lot of knife. I'll tell you with that, dude. It's sharp as shit. I mean, sharp as crab. Woo, that mother is sharp, dude. <laughs> um, see, my only uh, man, it feels good in your hand. Man's got the finger, finger uh, notches there for your hand. Man, fits good in my dang hand. It's got the place for the definitely uh, go through a bear. Um. Oh, yep, grand, grandkids here, I can hear them. So that, uh, not a big fan of the, you know, the, looks good. You know, it looks like the old school ones, man, you just ain't got that. You know, them other ones, man, even the, even the ones that ain't antler or bone have still that, what is that, uh, oh, that compressed, my mind. My mind's kind of out of whack, it has been for a while now. But, um, composite, yeah, it's not that, you know, heavy composite stuff, which actually makes it very light in the, um, uh, ooh, dude, it's actually pretty, pretty dang balanced, which surprises me. That's one of the things you want to do is make sure it's balanced, you know, for the handle and the blade. So, man, it's not a, you know, I don't know what they sell these for, but... They're not a high dollar knife. I think that I think at Christmas time and everything that they were selling them for twenty or twenty five bucks. You know, it's a lot of knife for twenty or twenty five bucks. Mm -hmm. Then I had friends that sold uh, frost knives. You know, and they're a China made knife, and there's frost makes some pretty good quality knives. I have a couple of those in there. You know, I'm definitely a. Uh, you know, I like my. Solagen, my American made, and um, that kind of stuff, you know, quality, nice, and knives, you definitely get what you pay for with a knife, but I'll tell you what, man, for the money, you know, uh, like I said, 20, 25 bucks, what one of these sells for, for the money, uh, pretty, that's a lot of knife for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. That's it, man. So that's the old timer, uh, old timer Bowie. That's all. It's, I mean, there ain't a lot of nothing on it. Um, well, it's got a uh, ten and ten point four ounces is what it weighs, and then a fifteen inch length. So it's fifteen inches long. Not too shabby. Looks like a great starter knife for my grandkids. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> D &D, ah. Anyway, man, that's, I just thought I'd show that, man. Break back into doing these, man. My brother's, uh, you know, after mom passing away and stuff, my brother, we're sitting around having coffee the other day, and, man, you need to get back to, you need to get back to doing them videos. And I say, yeah. I ain't feeling it too much, and he's all oh, mom would be upset. You better get back to doing them videos. So, uh, which my mom, you know, I did these, which I can, I'll change it. It's going to change up some now, because uh, without Ma, um, I'm still going to do them. But a lot of videos I did was, you know, for my kids later on, and my mom, because she couldn't get out and about for the last few years, and so especially the thrift stores and the yard sales and the flea markets and stuff, you know, I definitely that was 
definitely for mom because she always would say that uh, made her feel like she was there with us. She loved the ones that we just sit around talking with the kids, all that kind of stuff. So, so we'll work back in and out. I promise you one every day. You know me, man. If I ain't feeling it, I ain't going to do it. So, well, all I got to say about it, and thank you very much for all the, the well wishes and the cards and everything. I appreciate that very much from us and the family. It's been a tough go of it, brother. So, good Lord willing, and them creeks don't rise. We'll have another video out real soon. <laughs> See ya.